So this topic is evaluating a patient with hypertension through the clinical examination as well as through some investigations. So the clinical examination is uh, already a forgotten art at this point in time because uh, many of our young colleagues may not believe in the clinical examination. They will, majority of them believe in the investigations. But many times the good clinical examination by, by which I mean a good history and a good a careful clinical examination is definitely going to give lot of uh, ideas about what investigations you have to do, how to interpret that investigation and how to manage that particular hypertension. So this is the state of affairs now. I already diagnosed myself on internet. So this is like uh, this type of patients you get that they come and say that I have hypertension and I want only the second opinion or uh, just treat my hypertension. They make their own diagnosis by internet. So that is a state of affairs today. So why we have to do a clinical examination and investigations? So why the complications in hypertension are occurring? Because it is late diagnosis and because we are not identifying the secondary causes at the earliest and we are missing the hypertension mediated organ disease which is already a complicated hypertension and we do not look at the other risk factors and as well as other comorbidities and the patients they are taking. So these are the things you must do in any case of hypertension so that when you do that these things only you will prevent complication hypertension. So most often we rely upon investigation that is what I told you for diagnosing all these things we rely upon the laboratory. But a good clinical approach which includes a good history and meticulous physical examination will not only help us in most of uh, help us to identify most of this abnormalities, but they will help you to diagnose them at the earliest with little or no cost to the patient. So that is why the clinical examination is a very important aspect of hypertension management. So whenever we are doing a clinical examination, we are concentrating on two things. One is history and physical examination. So these two things we are doing because we want to identify hypertension associated symptoms and signs in the history and secondary causes associated risk factors, hypertension mediated organ disease and what are the comorbid condition drugs. So through your history and physical examination, you must have some idea about this.